It's been a while, but let's talk watches. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews with me, Mquan. This is the channel where I talk about my passions, including technology and lifestyle. But today we're talking watches, specifically the Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue. Now, before I go any further, a quick wristwatch check because I haven't done this in a long time. This on my wrist is the, uh, the I was about to say Tudor, it's the Rolex. Uh, GMT Master 2 reference 116710 BLNR, also referred lovingly as the Batman. Now, I've been inundated with requests from you guys asking me where the watch-related videos have been on the channel. I haven't forgotten about them, I've just been focusing heavily on tech, but over the next couple of weeks, next month or so, you'll be getting more watch-related content. And if things go according to plan, pray for me, inshallah, next month I will also have a brand new watch related video, a new watch purchase essentially. So stay tuned for that. So I went down to my local authorized dealer here in Abu Dhabi. They are Muhammad Rasul Khori. They uh, stock most of the Rolex and Tudor as well as a few other brands. They've got a really cool flagship store in the city, which is the one that I filmed in. Uh, it's next to World Trade Center. So if you're down and you wanna go and check that out, do go and pay them a visit. But I was greeted there with the Black Bay 58 in blue and my first impressions of this watch are that that color really does stand out. I was a little concerned that maybe the color was slightly too in your face or maybe a little too subdued, but I think the color is just perfect. And this is why it makes a big difference to see it in the flesh. I would describe it as a royal, royal navy blue because I think it, it probably summarizes the type of blue color that's there in the aluminum bezel, but also on the dial of that watch and it complements the stainless steel case and riveted bracelet really really well i'm still not a fan of that riveted bracelet i don't know what it is it just i mean it's a nice bracelet but i don't like the rivets on there the other thing is as someone that's handled and worn a submariner i certainly think that the lack of quick adjustment tool on the bracelet for the tudor black bays in general it's not great. Um, I mean, there is uh, an adjustment. You are going to need a tool for that. Um, there is no glide lock system like you'd find on the Submariner. But then again, it that is nowhere near compared to that price of the Submariner. So those are the few issues that I have with the bracelet. But when it comes to the rest of it, I think it's really, really nice, particularly at this price point, because that slightly domed sapphire crystal on the top, the uh, turning of the bezel, the blue, it's a really, really nice watch. And more importantly, I think this watch is gonna be incredibly, incredibly popular. It, it strikes a really good balance at a modern variation of a vintage inspired Tudor Submariner. And that's certainly what a lot of people are looking for. If we're honest with ourselves, it, you know, it's been compared online with a more affordable Smurf. It is not in the same league as a Submariner. Uh, a white gold Submariner with a blue ceramic bezel and blue uh, face, but it doesn't cost anywhere near the amount of money. It's a stainless steel watch. It's still a diver's watch. I love the fact that this is a watch that most people, you know, if they want to add it to their collection and have multiple other watches, is gonna be a daily watch. I mean, this is a watch with that blue variation that you could wear in the office. I could comfortably do that actually, wearing that even with a shirt and also wear it casually when I'm out at the pool or in my t-shirt. So I think it's got that mass appeal. And at the moment, Tudor as a brand is certainly doing that. It's got nothing different really to it compared to the Tudor Black Bay models uh, and the uh, Tudor Black Bay 58. There's nothing fundamentally different in terms of the specs, but that color addition really does make a difference. The Tudor Black Bay 58, for those of you that are not uh, necessarily aware, is a major sort of line within Tudor's uh, watch-related portfolio. Tudor, some refer to it as a sister company of Rolex. In many ways, they are tied in with the history of Rolex, but it's a more affordable, slightly more um, pushing it out there when it comes to design and you know newer models than Rolex. The Tudor Black Bay 58 comes from its very popular line of Tudor Black Bay. 58 is different from the traditional Tudor Black Bay for a number of reasons. Number one, 
it is really a much more smaller, I say much more, but it isn't that much more smaller size than the traditional Tudor Black Bay. So for example, the normal Tudor Black Bay line is around about 41 millimeters, whereas the Tudor Black Bay 58 is 39 millimeters. That few difference of a millimeter really does make a difference on the wrist, particularly for those of us that have, let's say six, six and a half inch wrists or smaller, the 58 size just looks and feels a bit more a bit more better on the wrist let's say it also has a much lower thickness so uh the traditional tudor black bay is i think around about 14 millimeters slightly over that whereas on the 58 it's actually 12 millimeters so quite a thin profile i'm a big fan i mean i'd love to know what you guys think um let me know in the comment section down below i asked on my instagram whether or not i should cop or drop this type of watch um, and I'm keen to know what you guys think because if I get a chance to purchase this, I think I'm actually drawn towards picking one up. And those are my quick thoughts. Let me know what you think about a Tudor Black Bay 50. Are you tempted to pick one up? And if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit like as well if you enjoy this video. And I've got a lot more watch related content, not only here on the channel, but also over on my Instagram account. So if you're not following already, find me, say hi and uh, check out some of the content that I've got going on there. Till next time, peace and blessings.